segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. We are in the kitchen with Miss Allison Davis right here at Wild Time. And what is cooking right now? Because this smells really good. Oh, it is Again. really, really good. Um, so what I'm making is um, it is a paleo friendly naan. And are you do you, are you familiar with naan? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I ain't. <laughs> Um, naan is like an Indian like flatbread, so you typically like have it like pita bread kind okay. of, like, but it's grilled and usually like in a tandoori oven. So this is a version of naan, okay. but it's paleo friendly. So I wanted to share with you what the ingredients are. So we have a cup of um, coconut milk, okay, a half a cup of almond flour, mm -hmm. and then a half a cup of tapioca flour. Okay. And that's what I have here that we have mixed together. And then we're searing in some grass-fed butter because okay. with paleo you can have butter, uh -huh. but you just want to make sure it's grass-fed. And Kerrygold butter is definitely my favorite mm -hmm. uh, favorite brand. And uh, this is also gluten-free too, right? Yeah, gluten-free. Yeah. yeah, paleo. Awesome. Um, so we have yeah almond flour, tapioca flour, and coconut milk. Yeah. That's it. Three Perfect. ingredients, and then a pinch of salt. Okay. So what we have here is uh, the butter browning. You just have to take your time and not let it, you know, not try to flip it too fast. You know, mm -hmm. it's almost like kind of like a pancake. Right. I was just right? going to say that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but um, a little more on the savory route. Okay. So what I was going to serve with this was a little um, like a tzatziki sauce, okay. right, which is the cucumber yogurt sauce. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so you could have that with it. So I just chopped up a little bit of cucumbers. Okay. And then I've got some fresh dill here that we'll chop up a little bit while that's cooking there. I love dill. I do, too. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now, the smell. You had mentioned the butter, too. Where, um, where do you get that particular butter? Um, you can find that, I think, at pretty much every major grocery store now. Mm -hmm. um, Kerrygold is just really known as the leader, I think, in the market in terms of, like, butter. So okay. you can pretty much find it everywhere now. And it's, but you said it was organic? It's an organic type um, of well, butter? Well, it's grass-fed. Okay. It's 100% grass-fed. The okay. Irish butter mm -hmm. um, kind of follows that strict uh, protocol gotcha. with their cows. So. Gotcha. All right, and we are not, we're using a goat's milk yogurt. Okay. And this is a nice um, organic, you know, certified, raised, humane. Um, just go with a nice clean yogurt, and then we're mixing that up. I'll season this with a little salt and pepper, and if you wanted, you could add just a little spritz of um, lemon juice. Oh, okay. And then I think we're ready to flip there. You want me to yeah, flip? Go right ahead. Oh boy. Here, she goes. <laughs> Here we go. You have a lot of faith in me, Allison. I do. Look at that. Beautiful. Done. Beautiful. Ta -da. So I want you to try this. This is one I just went ahead and made yeah. and just see kind of what we're looking at. Maybe it could have cooked just a little longer. And then try a little bit of our okay. sauce there. Ooh. But for paleo and yeah. for people who are no longer having bread. Um, this time of year, this is, you know, a nice, like, fix for that, you know, bread craving, carb craving. Oh, it is. I like it. It's not, yeah, it's, it's kind of a mix between a bread and a pancake almost. Mm -hmm. It, it mm -hmm. has that type of um, texture and flavor to it, too. Yeah, and the more butter, the better. Yeah, <laughs> I love the butter taste in it. Fantastic. And this one's almost ready to go. Yeah. And so what do you serve this with? I mean, you could serve this with lamb, you could serve this just with a meal, you could have this, you know, with rice, mm -hmm. um, you know, fresh vegetables. This would be really nice with just a saute of peppers and eggplant and um, onions mm -hmm. and, you know, having the sauce and you could even almost make it meatless, um, you know, that way. So. I love it. I mean, it's really interesting. And, you know, I love how you kind of have me step out on the wild side. <laughs> when I'm doing these cooking segments with you um, because you really introduce different foods that I wouldn't typically make but they're really easy I mm -hmm. mean they're really, really yeah easy. I mean this is a three ingredient bread you know in a yeah. way so uh, that's what makes it nice and convenient you know when you're cooking at home mm -hmm. trying to just come up with something quickly um, that you know you husband kids whoever's gonna <laughs> exactly. enjoy so exactly well for this recipe and many other recipes head over to our website at wtvq.com forward slash midday kentucky or you can find us on our website i mean on allison's website at wildtimecooking.com and um she's also on instagram 
always has interesting things to say on Instagram, but also interesting recipes to find there too. So uh, we'll be right back right after this short break.